the Go Tracks Aries. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Go Tracks Aries electric scooter. This is how the scooter comes in when it's delivered. It's packaged well with plastic and foam protecting it. There's minimal assembly required and you can be up and running in no time. Inside, you get the user manual, tools, screws, and charger. Now here's the scooter uh, fully assembled. There's just minimal assembly required. Uh, basically, it comes with uh, four screws here so you can attach the handlebar, so you wanna secure that into place. And then uh, the rear fender, you wanna attach that. It has four screws and plug, plug the uh, connector on the side here. It also uh, folds the stem, just like your typical uh, scooter. You have the uh, folding mechanism here. You just wanna uh, pull up and then the stem will go down and it will lock into place. Going over some specs, this has dual 500 watt motors, 16 amp hour battery, 32 mile range, 28 mile per hour top speed, three riding modes, large LCD display, 10 inch off-road tires, front and rear disc brakes, front, side, and rear lights, front and rear dual suspensions, and it weighs in at 65 pounds. It has a max load of 264 pounds. I'll walk through around the scooter, you'll see that the front has a front light, the folding lever, the front suspension, front fender, 10 inch tires, 500 watt front motor, mechanical disc brakes. Towards the middle and the back, you have the charging port, the battery, kickstand, deck lights, rear suspension, rear footrest, rear fender, rear light, mechanical disc brakes, and 500 watt motor. The handlebar area, you have the brake levers, controls, bell, folding buckle, thumb throttle, and display. Now powering up the scooter, you have the controls on the left side here, and then you have the thumb throttle on the right. So you just wanna press the power button, Taking a look at the plus and the minus, this will increase uh, the uh, mode from one to three. It's by default on the P mode, uh, which you can basically just use it as a walk assist. So here's the, pl the plus, one, two, three, and minus to decrease it. Um, pressing the, the uh, single wheel here, we'll put it in the single uh, motor, and then the, the two wheels here, we'll put it in the dual motor mode. And then you also have the uh, light button. So when you press that, it will activate the front and the rear light. And it also has the, uh, the deck light on the sides. Now looking at the deck here, you can actually remove the battery. Uh, there's a combo uh, on each side. So once you have the combination, it's in the manual, you can uh, pull this up and then uh, remove the battery. Now I'll show the scooter in use. I'll test it out on rough terrain, show the different speed modes, test the brakes, see how it does uphill, downhill, then give my thoughts. Okay, now uh, time for the uh, rough terrain test. I'm going to take it down this uh, trail. It's pretty bumpy and there's some gravel. Uh, the scooter does have front and uh, rear suspension, so I think it's going to do uh, fairly well here. All right, here we go. Rough terrain test. You can feel the bounce on the, uh, the board. So the uh, suspensions are definitely going to work here. Absorbing the bumps really well. into the gravel. All right, handle that with ease. All right, now time for the speed test. This has uh, dual motors. I'm gonna start off with the uh, single motor uh, on mode one and then increase it to mode three and let's see how fast each level goes. All right, so single motor, 
Mode one. All right, here we go. All right, we're at about 13 miles an hour, 14. Going to mode two. About 17, 18, and mode three. About 19 miles per hour on mode three. Actually, we just hit 20. So 20 miles per hour on mode three with single motor. Okay, so on single motor, we reached 20 miles per hour on mode three. Now I'm gonna put it on dual motor. Uh, start off with mode one and let's see how fast uh, each level goes. All right, so this is uh, dual motor now. You definitely get a little bit more pickup there on dual motor and we're up to 15 miles per hour just like that going to mode two uh, you feel that pull 20 miles per hour and mode three so mode three we're topping off at 25 miles per hour on dual motor actually we just hit uh, 28 28 miles per hour Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes and you can use the parking lines as reference. All right, now I'm gonna do the uphill test. Uh, this uh, road has a nice steady incline throughout. Let's see if it can maintain the speed. We saw that on dual motor, it hit 28 miles per hour. Let's see if we can uh, maintain or, or if it's gonna lose speed as we go up the, uh, the street here. All right, here we go, uphill test. Nice smooth acceleration, very quiet. No rattles, no noises. The steering feels very stable. All right, we're beginning the climb at uh, 25 miles per hour. Just losing a little bit of speed. We're down to 24. But it's powering through here. A little bit of uh, downhill into the turn. Just gonna let it glide here. All right, so with the uphill test, it was able to power through very strong, began the climb at 25 miles per hour and lost about one to two miles per hour. Now we're gonna do the uh, downhill test. Let's see how it handles. All right, I'm gonna keep it in uh, the uh, dual motor mode. All right, here we go, downhill test. All right, nice and smooth, handling this uh, turn very well. We're at about 26 miles per hour. Twenty-eight. Nice and steady. Here are my thoughts on the scooter. The assembly process was quick and easy. The scooter was packaged well and there were no damages during the shipping process. It feels solid and well built, and there's some weight to it. The deck is wide and plenty of space for you to stand comfortably. It folds in a few seconds and can be transported with ease. The handlebars are a good length. I didn't have to lean forward. The steering felt stable. There were no rattles or vibrations. The handlebar stem also feels beefy and solid something you see more on the hyper scooters, and the locking mechanism locks securely. It had plenty of power with its dual 500 watt motors as I tested it uphill. It was able to conquer the incline with minimal speed loss. 
Rough surfaces was not a problem. The dual front and rear suspensions absorbed the bumps very well. The 10 inch off-road tires had plenty of traction. In the speed test, I was able to hit the advertised speed of 28 miles per hour, and this has a range of 32 miles. But this will depend on the speed mode, your weight, and environment you're in. The brakes were also strong and grabbed on quick, but would have liked to have seen hydraulic brakes. The display is large, simple, and intuitive. It's easy to navigate with the controls. The only downside is that it does get washed out on bright sunny days, so it's a bit difficult to read. Overall, the scooter was a great ride. Very smooth and absorbs the bumps well. Plenty of power and it gets you to your destination in no time. So that is my review of the GoTrax Ares electric scooter. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.